What we're gonna do for this video is have a read through one of the rarest comics I have in my collection. Um, this is Jackie Gleason and the Honeymooners, issue number 12. It's the last issue of the series. Um, and it was produced by National Comics. Uh, this is from, I forget what date this is from actually. It's either 1950s or 1940s. And this is literally the rarest comic I have in my collection. From what I understand, there's only anywhere between 20 to 100 of these left in the world. And um, I was lucky enough to get my hands on one. And I paid a fair coin for it, even though it's not in the best shape. This is like grade two, um, you know, out of a scale of 10. It's, it's just a good copy. Uh, and good doesn't you know in comic books means something else than what you might think this is this is considered to be a low grade and we're gonna crack this open but I'm not gonna be holding it in my hands I'm gonna be putting it on the table and flipping through it because it is fragile and I don't want to damage it any more than it is um, and if you don't know Jackie Gleason he was a genius uh, brilliant really um, he had his own TV show and he made some movies and he made some amazing music as well uh, some big band music and I guess this is him appearing in his own comic and I flipped through it when I first got this thing but I didn't get a chance to read I read some pages but I didn't really get a chance to read any one specific story and this is again another compilation but it's all about Jackie Gleason and um, it's multiple stories in one book and what we'll do, we'll flip through it and pick one story and have a read through it. And that's his best friend uh, and neighbor, I believe. In the show, anyway, it was a neighbor. And uh, let's see what this says. Keep your chin up, Ralphie boy. Hmm. Must let the bull know you're a matador, not a doormat. <laughs> that's super cute. Really. Some of the Golden Age stuff is brilliant, uh, super funny, um, super sci-fi. We, we'll do some reading of EC Comics, some uh, science, science fiction stuff, amazing reads, amazing stories, uh, sort of shaped comic books, really. Um, for censorship to be brought in by zealots, uh, fanatics. But uh, this one is going to be humorous, and we're going to have a little look through it. Okay, let's crack this open. Let's see. we need to use it right so let's check this out what have we got here so this is in uh, you can see it's got a tear on the spine the spine is splitting the staples are still attached right take a look at this and some of the stuff is torn right little pieces missing from the cover but still intact All right so let's take a look and the staples are still nicely attached look at the front page what does a fine print say here publishes a po comic publishes a public service incorporate cooperation with the national social welfare assembly coordinating organizations for national health welfare and recreation agencies of the u.s and that's this story what is this story should we have a read through this first page the secret of the happy pig why am i always so miserable why can't i be somebody else somebody big and famous that's the mouse i'm going to ask peter porkchop to cheer me up he's always so happy wonder how he got that way sure Marvin I know how you feel I was that way once myself 
always wanting to be somebody else or do something impossible. Why? Once I even tried to sing like a bird. Me, imagine. So it goes through the wolf talking about it. So that's the secret of being happy. It sure sounds good to me. Oh, let's check it out. What is the secret? That cured me. Who wants to be unpopular? Hmm, okay, let's read it. It doesn't get to the punchline right away. And I thought I had to prove I was big and strong and brave no matter what. Gosh, I'm scared. I was silly to say I'd swim across the deepest part of the river. Wish I'd never taken that dare. So he's trying to prove himself. And I always wanted everybody to think I was wonderful, whether I was not, I was or not, until Yes, sir, Mr. Turtle, your surprise party was my idea and I got everything organized and I said, so that's the wolf. The nerve of you, Wolfie. You know very well, we all worked for Turtle's party. Oh, so he's taking credit. You know, Peter, we're glad you told Wolfie off. We hate to say it, but you were, you were getting to be just like Wolfie in more ways than one i was oh this is embarrassed should, we, should i lift this up so you see it let's check this out i'll bring this close to you guys take a look right. that cured me who wants to be unpopular and happy like wolfie i just decided to be me and do things i i can do so that's the secret to happiness and this is sort of the same thing that uh, we saw madman uh, frank einstein tell us in creatures of the id right uh, brilliant nice story right. so let's flip through this uh, before we decide to read a story the honeymooners ralphie boy Jackie Gleason. Jackie Gleason. Very cool. And what's the date on this? Let's read this. Jackie Gleason and the Honeymooners, number 12, April, May. Okay. 1958, published bi monthly, once every two months by National Comics Publisher, a Publications Incorporated. And where are these guys? These guys are in Sparta, Illinois. A tour excited upon subscription like oh Neil New York executive so they're they have two offices one is in Illinois one is in New York uh, Whitney Ellsworth advertising rates so they got advertising rates Americans by VIP corporation hmm, interesting printed in the US Norton Norton is his best friend's name. <laughs> Norton isn't getting into trouble with the bulls. It's actually a not bad shape comic, you know. I might give this a three or so as far as grading goes just because the insides are uh, still very very nice so they're dressing up Jackie to fight the bull the red uh, red cape on Norton's head oh that's dangerous oh he tired out the bull check this out the bull's all tired <laughs> little goat sees him Eyes of yikes. The goat's chasing him. And they meet. 
meet up. Dance away. Lois Lane, Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, advertisement for that. I have some of these issues as well. Mother Fletcher presents Stanley R. Sog on the late, 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 late show. I think we're going to end up reading this one. It's all Jackie Gleason. Quickie. The end. Oh, look at this advertisement. Wow. Oh, see these things? They tell, they told people just to clip and mail the coupons. So many people would cut out the coupons and mail them. I think I did it as well when I was a kid in the early 80s or something. I would never clip out a coupon out of a comic book now. I don't think they have coupons in comics. Actually, no, they do. In the 90s, they did anyway. Valiant Comics had coupons that people mailed out for their special zero issues. Here's another story with Norton and Jackie. one good thing with um, comics when I do buy them I flip through them usually and try to straight out any edges especially the old ones there's one more here as well that. it's been like that for a long time Challengers of the Unknown. This is a very collectible comic. Uh, uh, has some great stories in it. And a sought after comic book series, Challengers of the Unknown. Reggie Van Gleeson III. <laughs> oh, so Jackie Gleeson throughout history. Caveman, Egypt, Renaissance, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Should we go through this one? Let's go through this one. Oh, and a little one under. Okay. Oh, look at another muscle get strong and the back of this is more advertisement your prize is ready more little gadgets so let's flip through and read a couple of stories read this couple of pages one and then we'll go and read a couple more okay so mother fletcher presents stanley r sog and the late 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 show okay jackie's nervous tonight we present mother fletcher's household kit containing such unusual items and this can as this handy mop for mopping floors and walls all at the same time so it's a dual mop it's got one up top one on the bottom and how about this genius lazy Susie for you household wives who like to ride the range it's 
just got a saddle on the stove. Here's another handy kitchen appliance for you housewives. This beautiful automatic washer to wash your automatic washer. <laughs> what? <laughs> Zany. Another kitchen item for you television fans who like to snack but hate to miss anything. The fridge, the TV in the fridge. And how about the beautiful shooting iron for you pistol packing mana manas? Here's some tricky sticky fly paper for homes with intelligent flies. Oh, it's fly paper with articles written on it. And, you f and for you social wallflowers, here's a super fire, surefire aid. To help you mix with company huge mixer in case you live in a TP this custom-made picture window for you homie folks we have an antique antique rocker with a year supply of rocks here's a useful welcome mat for dinosaurs uh, a discourage here's a useful welcome mat for discouraging door-to-door -door salesmen get lost oh when it punches you in the face violent and if they don't get the message when they step on it pow now before we get back to the late 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 show the 100 pound wedge of mother fletcher's fetch Fachmara Mazzoroni cheese. Fachmara Mazzoroni cheese. The end. I wonder if this is an advertisement for Mother Fletcher. I don't know what Mother Fletcher is. Right. Not sure if this is an advertisement or a story. They trick you like that sometimes. They get you to read things that are just advertisements. Let's read the bird one. Let's read the bird one. Let's check it out. Chinese Bratton in the loud mouth. Your best friend. Your best friend would never do anything to get you fired unless you were Clem Fletch Finch. And your best friend was Charlie Bratton. Then he'd do anything to get you fired. Oh, this isn't even Jackie Gleason's story. Here's Charlie. We're gonna read the no, let's read a Jackie Gleason one. Not the big one. Let's read the one where we go through history and Take a look at Jackie Gleason throughout history. Hmm, here's another quickie. Let's check this out. The poor soul, Jackie Gleason. Oh, this is Jackie Gleason. The poor soul believes what Confucius once said. Man can solve problems by using his head. So sits down, TV's not working, tries to fix it, kicks it. And the thing starts picture showing upside down, so he sits upside down to watch it. Cute. Okay. Reggie Van Gleeson the third. So let's take a look at history. Let's take a look at the future of Jackie Gleason in front of Amy f ever famous in front of every famous man there was a goal on the horizon in front of ev every famous Van Gleason there was a girl on the horizon running 
There you are, Mr. Van Gleeson. The statue is finished. So he's posing for the statue. Hmm. It's a dan dan dandy. There's a Napoleon Gleeson picture in the background. <laughs> and now, Mr. Van Gleeson, I wonder. I wonder if you would tell me why you had the statue made. But of course, my charming Chesler, come with me. Wow, look at all the statues of Jackie Gleason. Look at all those. This, my dear, is the Van Gleason Hall of Fame. For centuries, the Van Gleesons were known for their spirit of adventure. They were all famous explorers. The first Van Gleeson was Oz, who discovered girls. He's chasing after girls. Then came Plur Plurbus Van Gleeson. Then came Plurbus Van Gleeson, who discovered Cleopatra before Caesar. He's chasing after Cleopatra. He was in the Roman army, I guess. And of course, and of course, we have the famous Vincent van Gleeson, who discovered the Mona Lisa before Leonardo da Vinci. Only she wasn't smiling. <laughs> She's another. Oh, that was cute. Following him was Reggie van Gleeson, who discovered Juliet's balcony before Romeo. Julius trying to get out, of his, get out of his way. And one of the most famous Van Gleesons was Schnozelet, Schnozelet Van Gleeson, who discovered Roxanne before. Siano. Siano. Roxanne before Siano? I can't, I don't know how to pronounce that. This is. Um, there's a movie of this uh, recent movie actually a couple of movies the old one is awesome and Roxanne is not bad with that that was in the 90s or 80s or something here we have the dashing Louis, Louis, Louis G. Van Gleeson who discovered Isabella before Columbus discovered America Columbus discovering America and that's a kick eh? Next, we have Dangerous Van Gleeson, who discovered Pocahontas before Captain John Smith, chasing after Pocahontas. And finally, we come to the dashing Devil May, Devil May Care playboy, Reggie Van Gleeson III. But you haven't discovered anything, Mr. Van Gleeson. Not yet, my pet. Away I go to discover the Venus on Venus. Cute. Goes to Venus to discover Venus on Venus, and the girls are still running away. Let's check this out. Another one pager. The poor soul. Some people can fool some of the people some of the time, but all the people can fool the poor the poor soul all the time this is the same guy that uh well i guess it's jack gleason nish same guy that kicked the tv jiffy can opener 10 cents oh the can opener doesn't work very well he hurts his finger jiffy can opener 10 cents he's complaining comes back jiffy first aid kid one dollar So this is Jackie Gleason and the Honeymooners, number 12, 1958. Should we read through the first story? Let's read through the first story as well. Eh? Why not? Hey, Norton, let's buy a couple of these Mexican blankets. It's pretty chilly today. It might be chilly today, Ralphie boy. 
but it's gonna be hot tam tamale he 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 let's read the intro to it for the first time in 15 years peace reigns on chunsi street the cran then apartment is quiet why because the cranmans and the nortons are on their first vacation in colorful mexico alice how could you like this great big pot no thanks how would you like this great big pot? no thanks trixie i've been living with one for 15 years ha ha he 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 bullfight today the great matador tortilla wow har har hardy har har you a lot of grouch jackie gleason is a grouch hey what's the excitement down the street jackie gleason says oh senor it is the traditional running of the bulls through the streets before the big fight that's my mexican accent sorry if i'm reading it like that but that's the way it's written sort of right Come on, Norton. Get out of the way. Oh, the bulls are coming. Oh, when he pulls out his... She's got over him and he starts playing with the bulls. Ole, 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 they say. Senor, you have the form of the great matador tortilla. <laughs> Where you learn these footwork, senor? Well, in order to keep alive in Brooklyn sewer, in a Brooklyn sewer, you have to be fast on your feet. <laughs> I think they're plumbers. After all that exercise, I'm hungry, and I know I can't argue on an empty stomach. Let's eat. See, si, senor, all the great matadors eat at Pedro's Palace. Do you see honor? And be my guest and mm. you must try my enchiladas enchiladas where where are they what are they don't worry Ralph don't worry Ralph they're only Brooklyn pizzas move south of the border see si, see si, senorita pizzas with a Mexican accent he <laughs> he never mind the enchiladas laughing boy just bring me a plate of stew with Irish accent, with an Irish accent, that's Jackie Gleason. Yeah, Pedro, and bring me a pickle and peanut butter sandwich. And the Mexican guy is still laughing. Ah, the greatest bullfighter in all of Mexico. Matador tor Tortilla, welcome, welcome. Ah, buenos dias, my good friend, Pedro. forget tortilla tomorrow you promise to take us to a picnic it's tortilla picnic girls are you crazy tomorrow tortilla fights the bulls he make a hundred thousand dollars wow my greedy manager hernandez always thinks money last year i made million dollars tomorrow i know fight balls i go on picnic with the beautiful senoritas so he's not gonna go to the bullfight, he's gonna go to girls. Ralphie boy, you hear that? All that money just to fight a couple of bulls? Norton, that gives me an idea. When Jack Gleason gets an idea, you're in trouble. Never mind, Ralph. The last time you got an idea, I was in the hospital for three days. Norton knows it, right? relax Norton just leave it to old Ralphie your manager manager look Ralph don't don't you go spoiling our vacation with one of your crazy ideas now sit down before I knock you down the wife uh, from the show I watched the show a fair bit actually the wife is pretty hard-handed <sighs> oh Miss Weisenhammer hammer thinks just because you're not on Chauncey Street that I'm not king of my castle I'm the king you're you're the castle and you don't forget it 
Aha, uh -huh, shut up. She says, Oh boy, Alice, you're asking for it. Pow, right to the moon. And that is the classic Jackie Gleason saying, Pow, right to the moon. Holds up his fists. We are talking about the golden age of comics, or golden age anyway. Hey, Pedro, who are the Americanos making all the noise? This fat one, I don't know, but his funny looking friend has the greatest footwork on any bullfighter I've ever seen. No, Pedro, no, Pedro, Tortilla has the greatest footwork you ever see. Just a minute, gentlemen, we can settle. Settled the argument very easily. Jackie Gleason steps in. And who are you? I'm the manager of Matador Eduardo Norton. And we challenged Tortilla to a bullfight contest. Jackie Gleason. Ho ha! The greatest Tortilla, the great Tortilla would never accept the challenge of a clown. Oh, so the great Tortilla is afraid afraid the clown will make a fool out of him what is he a coward oh i'm doing mexican accent for <laughs> jackie gleason uh, me a coward i accept the challenge i will contest with matador contest with matador norton this afternoon i am not coward he's right ralph he's no coward i'm the coward and norton is a coward Shut up, Norton. If you're gonna be an idiot, at least be a brave idiot. Wait a minute, Ralph. Why don't you fight the bull? I'd be a more, <laughs> be a more equal match. <laughs> ah, the little funny one is frightened of the bulls, no? That was a lucky performance on the streets with the bulls, no? No, that wasn't. That wasn't luck, it was skill. You can call me a coward, but you can't make fun of my footwork. Oh, he's dancing away. Bah ha ha. Hernandez, take care of details. He walks away the matador. And now, senor, it is tradition the challenge matador fights the first bull. It is agreed you will be the it is agreed you will be the picador for Senor Norton. Be be at the ball ring at two o'clock adios, Senor Fat Stuff. CC Hatchet Face. We'll be there, don't worry. So they go on to the go on to the stadium the ring senior edward or norton norton's dressing room just before the contest hey ralph how come these pants have two holes in them i bought them second hand norton <laughs> bulls already been punctured the pants you know pal i make a pretty awesome picador what's a picador ralph a picador is the guy a picador is the guy that's supposed to make the bull mad by picking on him <laughs> Ralph I think it would be better if you became a, a, a patador patador and make the bull gentle by <laughs> petting him <laughs> that's funny that's funny don't worry pal I'll be right behind you I feel a lot better if you was right be if I was right behind you, Ralph. Off they go. Gee, Alice. Gee, Alice, that looks just like one of those handsome Latin lovers. Yeah, Trixie and Ralph just just look just like one of those fat Latin watermelons. <laughs> Attention, senor and senoritas, this grand parade begins. Hey, Ralph. Oop. Snag any of the stuff. Hey, Ralph. What are they doing? That's part of the ceremony, Norton. Their lady lovers throw a flower to them 
for luck. We better make it look good and go bow to Alice and Trixie. <laughs> they throw flower pots at their heads. Ouch. Clunk. There's people laughing. Hey, Alice, when you throw a flower, you're supposed to take it out of the pot. We were just wishing you potluck, boys. Don't know that saying, potluck. Attention, senor and senoritas. Matador Norton's first bull is coming into the ring. Picador Cram, Cramden will start the processing. Proceedings. Picador Crackman will start the proceedings. Nice bull, take it easy. Yow. Boom. Ooh. Hits him out of a park. I don't have to pick. I'll pick on him, Norton. He's mad enough. Yikes. Let's go back to Brooklyn, Ralph, where it's nice and quiet. Don't be silly, Norton. With dough we're gonna get, we're gonna make this afternoon. We can buy Brooklyn. A million dollars on the line. Now, get out of there and do your stuff. Oh, throws a red thing on his head. The bull's going crazy. Ralph is zooming around. Oh, he's dancing around, Ralphie. Look a look. Oh. Look at this. Hmm. That bull's not mad at me. He's mad at the cape. And he is. Bulls go mad when they see red. Boy, this is easy. So it's just flipping around. Ole, bravo, ole, bravo, bravo, ole, ole, ole. Senor, the Matador Norton does the very difficult Veronica Pass. Veronica Pass with superb grace. It's just a Charleston with a cha cha beat. La Masala Sirasa. Advertise for a little booze there. Oh, and he hops over the bowl, and the bowl is totally tired. Pat, pat, pat. Puff, puff, puff. Norton, you were that, that dandy. It. It was fine performance, Matador Norton. I feel I will have difficulty matching it. Senors and senoritas, you have just witnessed the magnificent performance of the Matador Norton. And now, the great tortilla enters the ring to face the bull. Norton, this guy is pretty fancy. He's almost as good as you. That's what Jackie's telling Norton. Oh, and the goat sees him. Yeah. Va -va -va jumps over the fence oh he's running towards them caramba what is this senor norton he jumps on the tortilla not the tortilla goats my great grandfather was afraid of them my father was afraid of them and i'm afraid of them that's what norton said ah, everyone's laughing including the goat and the bull Oh, oh. Go away, coward. I don't ever want to talk to you again. You just lost us a fortune and made us the laughing stock of Mexico. That's what Jackie says. But gee, Ralph, I can't help it if I'm afraid of goats. Ralph. Ralph, we've been home for two weeks now and you haven't spoken to Norton once. Your best friend. He's your best friend. When are you going to stop acting like a child and make up? Make up? Friend? Norton? What are you talking about? I don't have any best friend. I don't have any best friend. And I don't know anybody by the name of Norton. He holds a grudge, Ralphie. Alice, there's some stranger at the window. Call the police. Ralph, don't be silly. Ralph, please, forgive me. That's Norton with a sign on the Ralph, don't you realize we spent all your savings on the Mexico vacation? And since we came back, you've been moping and 
brooding around here and haven't been to work? Oh. Check this out. And if it wasn't for Ed working double time in the sewer, we wouldn't have been able to pay the rent or buy food. What? Why didn't you tell me? I tried. I tried to, Ralph, but you wouldn't listen. Gee, I guess I better go get him. Hey, Norton, pal, pal of mine. Hey, Alice, Trixie, and my best buddy, Norton, are going to have a big feast with us, just like old times. Right, pal of mine? Right, Ralphie boy, let's have a Mexican fiesta. South of the... So there's music playing south of the border down Mexico way. Ed, what do you call this dance we're doing? It's the Mexican bunny hug, Trixie. Hee <laughs> hee. They're dancing away. Ralph, maybe you don't you don't kick as high as you used to, but you're still the best dancer on Chensi. Chensi Street. Baby, you're the greatest. That's a happy ending. So this is Jackie Gleason and the Honeymooners. Let's put this guy back. I need to get a brand new bag for this. Let's put a brand new bag for this. So I'm going to put these in a brand new bag and board because these guys transfer this guy over and bring over a brand new bag. Throw this in. Actually, maybe we'll put it in Mylar, yeah? put this in a brand new mylar casing and this is uh, where I put some of the more heavy duty uh, more collectible comics that I have I put them in mylar bags and what I'm gonna do is uh, I am going to frame this issue okay now that I've read it the way I straighten out I tap it let's see looks 
it's a little off center. But I think that's because it's looks good. So that's Jackie Gleason and the Honeymooners number twelve. Pretty. I'll see you guys in the next reading.